So here we'll, we'll look at the second example of a book that many of you like to read, The Fault in Our Stars. And please do not copy this because it will be detected in our programs. But here you will find, first of all, that the language is formal. The sentences are varied more and the linking words are used much more. So please read, analyze and learn. But this one is written for a newspaper. So it's focused on the fact that they want you to buy the book more than evaluating. So they don't quote examples from the actual novel, they just write about it. So that is what was good with the other one, the quotes. Here it's the language and also that they go into depth here. For instance, they start directly. Cancer is such a dreadful disease, indiscriminate in its choice of victim, choosing with aplomb regardless of age, gender and status. There are a myriad of stories behind the tragedy and many of them remain untold. Who wouldn't stop and think things over with such a start? And then this writer writes in The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. He builds a story out of darkness and despair. So already you've got the setting, the feeling. He says he takes the tragedy of cancer and immerses us in the lives of characters that could very well be real. So all of a sudden it's a realistic book. And then he talks about Hazel Lancaster, Augustus Waters. And there are also some good things about the writings here. Throughout the story there is a beauty and humour, a candle in the wind, he says. For cancer touches not just the victim, but all those who love and are in any way touched by them. So here we got the setting, we have the feelings, we have the story in general, in this first paragraph. And then the writer, be prepared for a story of romance and anger. And it even says that she develops the personality, so even if they are sick, they also grow in this book. And there is laughter and tears, just as she mentioned before. So it gives you a feeling of wanting to read this book, because in the middle of all the sadness there is a glimpse of hope. So it's also, um, but what I miss here, it would be good to use examples, if you would write a text like this. It is better to use examples. So if you have the small notes in the book that you're reading, you should use them. Because when she says, or he says, written so beautifully, your heart and emotions, emotions melt. Well, how is it written? It could have been good to have one example. What is it that makes your heart and emotion melt? The person says it's difficult to categorize this book. Yes, I understand that. But it is really a book that the person recommends. So you see, it is possible to write these book reviews in different ways. But they all bring up who has written it, what is the name of the book, a short presentation of the plot, uh, presenting if the characters are realistic or not, the setting, the feelings that it convey, and you can see there are many opinions presented, not just facts. So try this one as well. Read it once again. So good luck. Let's see you in the next little film.